Hello YouTube, welcome back to Mega. Now, I know what you're thinking. Game Master, didn't you already cover this? Yes, I did, but the lore we identified back in the first video was just too juicy to leave on the table. So I jumped back in. We geared up, filtered up, we failed, we succeeded, pulled ourselves up just to fall again, announced our arrival, and we're back in the world of Mega Monsters. Immediately, I recognized exactly where we saw the girl in the red dress, but this was an incredibly stressful search because not only were we trying to progress the story along with keys because we don't know how things are procedurally generated, we were looking through every nook and cranny for some sort of evidence uh, of a hidden storyline, all along trying to make sure that we didn't make too much noise and get caught. But it wasn't long before we found a second piece of evidence. Uncontrolled reproduction of giants led to destruction of cities. Is there nothing the authorities can do? Girl in red tree. The girl in red was seen again before the attack on the city. Does she lead the creatures behind her? Okay, so we have our first two pieces of evidence, which alone are telling of some hidden story, but we are still missing something. How do they pair with the girl we see standing in the actual game? I was becoming impatient through my tormentuous labor of an in-game scavenger hunt, so next I headed straight to the source and asked Red Kraken for a clue. They saw right through my cheekiness, and I got the response that I absolutely deserved. A stroke of luck later, however, as I was able to recreate the appearance of the girl in the red dress after fiddling with the use button on this radio, or at least that's how it seemed to proceed. There she is. There she is. Is there something there? Oh, I got excited. Immediately following the red dress girl, I stumbled across the last clue I needed to start piecing some of oh, the wait, puzzles oh, together. A new species of giant creatures has been discovered. Is the human species at risk of extinction? Oh, I knew I had missed one. First, they appeared out of order, both due to the proximity of where you could find them compared to the game's spawn location, as well as the evident weathering of the documents. The news clipping on the left obviously weathered to the point of material degradation, the middle clipping showing more cellulose oxidation, aka where the paper turns yellow, compared to that of the right clipping where you can see the chromospores are absorbing more light than reflecting it only around the edges rather than the main body of the page, which is how oxidation would take place over time. So now that we've established a set of chapters to a story, we can assert that the monsters were discovered, some kind of event was leading to uncontrollable reproduction, and that the girl in the red dress is somehow part of their arrival. But the final clue wasn't going to be found in the game but on the tweet posted by Red Kraken Studio on August 19 of this year. A video of the upcoming release on Steam with this very specific hashtag for Resident Evil. That's a rather specific call out, don't you think? Another story about monsters being developed that run rampant and coalesce into a story of a girl in a red dress with supernatural abilities. Interesting resemblance to Alice. No, but the parallels don't actually end there. Do you remember the intro to the game and the name James Ward? Would it interest you to know that this is actually the voice actor of the character Jack Krauser, who until Resident Evil 4 is essentially a partner to Leon Kennedy and you guessed it, is part of an emergency response team working for James Wesker. That'd be crazy, right? Of course, that doesn't fully explain the radios, but maybe that's just an affinity for staple horror games and combined with the environment is a throwback to Silent Hill. 
it's possible. In either event, whether it's an original work of fiction or a callback to some great moments in gaming history, Mega remains an engaging indie game and continued mystery. That's really all I have for today, so thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. did it. Ha 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 ha. You can't get me, son. You can't get me, son. Kick it. Awesome.